Carmelo from Chimera's Comics, here today to talk to you about how not to make a comic book. Uh, Stephen Brown and I are working on a comic book called Magnificent, along with David Gonzalez, which we're going to put out later this year with your help. And I wanted to share with you everything that I did wrong in writing the comic book so that you might learn from my mistakes. Um, the, the method we used in writing this comic book was a lot like the famous Mighty Marvel method, they called it. It's what Stanley used to write comic books when he was basically writing everything Marvel put out. So he had to be very fast. And artists would come in like Steve Ditko and he'd say, okay, Steve, this month in Spider-Man, he fights a guy made of sand. And at the end, he vacuums him up. And that was it. And that was all the guidance Steve Ditko would get. And he would leave and Jack Kirby would come in and, and so on. They would just churn it like that. Steve Ditko would take that little description and he would go and he would draw the comic book. He would draw the 22, 32 pages, whatever it was, bring it back to Stan Lee. And then Stan Lee would write in the dialogue. Uh, it was a fast way to do it. it. It's certainly one way to do it. It gives the artists a lot of input. And it's pretty similar to what we did. I wrote this here that I'll show you. It's kind of embarrassing how wrong I did it, but I just wrote it like a prose story with a few visual cues, sometimes like in italics, as you'll see, I wrote these visual cues for the artist. I wasn't doing this right at all, and it, it really threw off my sense of pacing and what would fit on a page and so on. So instead, I would like to recommend you use a script writing program like Celtics, it's free. There's free programs like it. There was a time where Celtics was an industry standard and in film in particular, but it does have functions just for comic book scripts. And the nice thing about a program like Celtics is that it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you in terms of formatting. So see here my cursor is when I press enter, the program already knows that I'm in a panel, so it automatically formats a caption box. But if I were to say press the tab button, it knows instead that I want to write about a character. It'll save the character's names for you. When I press enter, it already knows that I'm going to have to write dialogue for that character, and it does all the formatting. So all that technical stuff that could be kind of intimidating about script writing goes away. And that's why I'd recommend you use a program like that, and don't make the mistakes I did while working on Magnificent. Thanks for listening.